Good afternoon, everybody. So, first things first, I got the new Halte Paranormal box. It's a random and linear sweep. Yeah, can you see that? Random and linear sweep with a sweep rate. Your volume control off and on also. AM, FM on the side. Headphones. And what's the other thing? Oh, your, your power adapter. Yeah, I'm blind. Thing works great. I have not used it for spirit yet, but the team last night in the opera house for the first investigation used it. And um, that was for a show called Darkness Fall when Darkness Falls. It's coming out on Viddy Space. And they said it worked excellent. Now I I've listened to it. I haven't done a session with it. The static is super low. The sound is excellent. It could be a little louder from my taste, but that's the only complaint I have. It sounds great, and um, this is my second pulp day box. I've got the RCA Super Tuner that I use constantly here. Um, I don't have a box right now. Mine is still in repair, <laughs> but um, when a box sounds good, you should buy it, and this one sounds good. So... Um, Let's, well, let me tell you a little something about last night before I turn everything on. That That's on. So the crew came in about 5 o'clock, did a walkthrough at Psychics, and uh, the cameraman, he charged his batteries, put them in, started the walkthrough. He got up to the opera house and instantly battery drained to under half. Now, from the opera house floor, there's stage left and right with stairs going down. We went down to the right side where it used to be the place where they would stoke the fire to heat the building. And down in that spot is a little boy named Otis who was the one who used to stoke those fires. And Otis has come out a few times in sessions with me. He's probably about 11 or 12 and um, the psychic told me how he died yesterday. He wanted me to know that he was pushed. And he had a head trauma which killed him. But he said that he was, he doesn't think that he was intentionally killed. Um, about that time, Mr. Pratt came to that stairwell. And he w I, I told them before they got there that I was visited by Mr. Pratt. At my shop, where he said he didn't want no fucking cameras in that <laughs> in that opera house, and and he meant it. He was pissed off. I just heard a click over here, and he meant it. Um, that battery drained, and I think that was Mr. Pratt taking that power enough to hit that cameraman because that cameraman got hit square in his chest, and he gasped for air for about ten seconds until he finally went, <gasps> and he fell to the freaking chair, and he was. He was done for a good five or ten minutes. He, he couldn't talk. He couldn't move. He couldn't do nothing. Um, Mr. Pratt didn't want them there. He he did loosen his hold a little later, and, and they had a magnificent night. But let's turn on the box, and we're going to go with the random. The random is my favorite. I like the linear, too, but the random is my favorite. And I've got the sweep rate up to a quarter, a little over a quarter. Hello, spirit. Do you know what I'm going to ask today? You know what? Can I talk to Mr. Pratt? Or can I talk to somebody who knows about last night? Now, I told you guys at that opera house that nobody would go in there and disrespect, and that was the case, was it not? Nobody disrespected. But can you tell me why Mr. Pratt felt the need? To hit that cameraman so hard in his chest.
What was it about that situation that you did not like? Do you felt he disrespected you in some way? Or did he say the wrong thing? Or did you just not like him? He was a great guy, by the way. Now we're going to click it up. Turn in here. Alright, so my camera got shut down. I don't know where we left off, so I'm going to try and backtrack here a little bit to um, me saying that a spirit showed himself to me. Well, he didn't show himself to me. He was peeking around corners, and I looked, and I saw him, and he ran away. And they said that it was a little boy. I wondered if it was Otis. And they all say, everybody always says that Otis is a very sweet spirit. I mean, he was just a boy, so why wouldn't he be? And why is he still just a little boy? Why hasn't he crossed over? Why hasn't why hasn't this child's spirit moved on? Can you tell me that? Can my guides tell me that? Why have child spirits not passed on? Isn't it just a given that they do? A lot of people are weary of child spirit because they don't think that they stick around into these lower levels, which doesn't make sense for them to do, but there's no reason for them not to stick around if that's what they enjoyed. I mean, they still have a mind of their own. Do child spirit go to heaven? Do they go up to a higher level automatically and have the chance to come back down if they want to? Let's go back down to Roland. And I'll slip it over to AM, too. Let me go to AM. We'll try that. I don't think AM's going to work well in here, though. It never does. Can you guys... Can you guys use AM to talk to me, or do I need to go back to FM? I hear Jasper. Yes? Is that a yes? This is a little weird to hear. Jasper, are you here? Jasper, are you here? Were you with me last night? I think you were. Jasper, what's what's the little saying that you always say? So I know it's you. Can you tell me that saying? I didn't hear it. Maybe he's not here right now. But just listen to this radio. Listen to how clear that is. 
I don't know if that has something to do with the spirit or to the speaker, the spirit. The spirit, spirit, speaker, whatever. I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. If it's the speaker or if it's the actual um, electronics that he used. I'm sure it's probably a mixture of both. Well, thank you. Who's here? Who just lit that up? Thank you. Can you can you change it to yellow or blue? Can you can you hit it a little harder for me? No. Okay. So, like I was saying, it, I don't know. In my own experience, I know that sometimes those smaller speakers that don't have um, a fuller range sometimes cut that static frequency out, and I haven't actually been able to pinpoint it yet. But there's a good chance he might have. <laughs> And if Steve's watching this, maybe, maybe pull a speaker out of one of these radios and try it in something else and see if that static is as low as it is in another box as this. Because a lot of people, like myself, I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear static. I don't like static. I don't care to sift through it. I don't care to hear or try to pull out voices from something that you have to guess about what it's saying because if I have to guess then everybody else has to guess it's and it's, it's like the EVPs you know I've been hearing those EVPs through my for my um, Seinhauser uh, headsets and I can hear them as clear as day but apparently you guys are not and when I went back and listened to them again in a different headset I didn't hear them the same way. Plugged in the Seinhausers, and I heard them. But then again, those Seinhausers are not cheap headsets, and I can't expect everybody to have a pair of those. You know, I've, I've owned them for about seven years, and they're for, they're for mixing. They're for mixing music. So the frequency responses that they allow is a little different than just your normal you know, banger headset that you pick up on a Walmart shelf. So that's it. That's that's the Hulte box. Contact him. They're 200 shipped, I believe. Not much more, over 200. And, you know, he doesn't charge a lot. He doesn't go crazy on his prices. And I think these little radios probably cost somewhere around 30 or 40 bucks. Um, he's got to put the boards together. Thank you. Thank you. He's got to put the boards together. He's got to solder them. He's got to put them in here. So, you know, he, he's making a hundred bucks or so, and, and rightfully so. It's a great radio. I buy things when I like them. And I like that a lot. All right, thank you. Thank you to the spirit who lit me up twice. You went up to the yellow like I asked you. Took you a little while, though. Why? Shy. I got a little chill on my back. I got a little... Are you behind me? Or are you standing next to me? Where are you? Just to the ground. Next to the ground? I'm kind of next to the ground. I'm sitting on a low chair. Ooh, why are you giving me so many chills? Is it just because you're near me? Do you have a message for me? Are you trying to say something? Set to I appreciate you coming forward. I'm gonna end this now. Thank you. Goodbye. No. Thank you. Thank you, Steve, for the box. It's great. I suit the first day I heard it. I was like, oh, it's mine. I want it. <laughs> I, I know Katie probably had something to do with this too. So thank you, Katie. I'm going to leave you out. I know that you're building stuff, too. I, I just talked to Steve on the transaction, so. Thanks. Goodbye.